Hello there. I'm Jasper Wilkes, host of Deep Mysteries of Walla Walla. Today, we're going to solve some mysteries. But be forewarned, what you see here today may both disturb you and cause you to question your existence on this planet. Hello again, Jasper Wilkes here. Today, we'll be investigating maintenance, plant services. Who are they? What do they do? Perhaps some of you have been noticing that there are many items on campus that have been broken for a number of weeks. Jasper Wilkes here with one of my favorite water fountains on campus. This one is, uh, just by looking at it, you wouldn't think it's broken, but t turn of the handle and sprays all up and down the wall. This door in Kretschmar Hall has been broken for a number of weeks. The toilet seat seems pretty solid to me. Now this this water fountain is one of my, my one of my more favorite favorite things that needs fixing here. If you push the button, nothing happens. So what you got to do is you got to reach down here and turn the water on. Just go ahead and twist the knob like like that, real, real tight like. The water starts working. And then you gotta turn up the water. <coughs> uh, a few minutes ago, we had a look at the toilet seat that was a uh, fit fit nicely. It was well placed, and uh, this one, uh, this one here doesn't. This entire parking lot behind me has been broken for several years. I might not be an electrician, but that light looks pretty pretty broken to me. I think we found something over here. This house is clearly broken. Water fountain at the rock wall, broken. It's broken. It's a broken swimming pool. This one's broken. Mesky hall, broken. This wall is broken. This one's bacon. I mean broken. This one's broken. The, the weight room in Mesky is uh, broken. They've uh, only got one weight. In a working condition. This dryer broken. Uh, apparently, uh, somebody's leg was broken. Perhaps a wrist. Broken bricks. Today, we'll see what can be done about those items and how you can get them fixed. Now, because of budget cuts, we only have an hour and a half to film this episode. And since our intern is really lazy, we don't have a script. So we'll. Excuse me, sir. Jasper Wilkes. Deep Mysteries. Today we're trying to answer the question, how you get something fixed on campus. How do you think you'd go about doing that? I actually don't know. He doesn't know. There comes somebody else. Excuse me, sir. Hi. Jasper Wilkes. Deepest Mysteries. Go ahead and tell the camera your name. Uh, Timothy. Uh, Timothy, uh, what year are you uh, here at Walla Walla? I'm a freshman. I didn't want to say anything, but typically freshmen aren't very smart, so I, I just said, why waste the film? Terry, get the camera ready. I got some, got some girls coming up over here. Excuse me, miss. Jasper Wilkes here, Deepest Mysteries. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple questions. Um, sure. Go ahead and tell me, tell the camera what your, what's your name. My name's Andrea. Andrea, and what year are you at uh, Walla Walla? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore. Now, today we're trying to solve mysteries, and okay. today's mystery is we're trying to figure out how to have something fixed on campus. What do you want fixed? How, how would you go about getting something fixed that's just broken, like a water fountain? Like a water fountain? Um, talk to maintenance? To maintenance? Yes. Wise words. Excuse me, miss. Jasper Wilkes here, Deep Mysteries. 
now. We've got a little problem today we're trying to solve. We're trying to figure out how you fix something on campus if it's broken. How, how would you go about doing that? What's broken? Just maybe like a fire hydrant or maybe a water water fountain. Lots and lots of duct tape. Looks like we got somebody else to interview over here. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, young man. Excuse me, young man. Jasper Wilkes. Yeah. 3 ABN. We have a problem that we're trying to solve on campus, and that is the problem that there are many th things that are broken. Those things need to be fixed, and we're trying to figure out how to do it. How, how would you go about getting something fixed on campus? Uh, I, I don't know. Today we're discussing the topic of how to get items fixed on campus. Where do you think you'd go to do that? I would probably go to that building right behind you, and honestly, I still don't know the name of it. As the young man suggested, we are now here in front of Rigby Hall. Let's go check it out. Excuse me, miss. Jasper Wilkes, what's your name? Hannah. And what year you are you uh, here at Walla Walla University? Grad student. Grad student. Very intelligent. Right. Now, here's the question. We're going around campus. There's something broken. You see it. You want to get it fixed. What do you do? I would tell Dee Dee. <laughs> Ever go to the right authority? I don't know. Jackson Wilkes here with our next interview. This is Dee Dee, who uh, we were f referred to by our last interviewee, and uh, she's going to go ahead and tell us how to get something fixed. Hi. <laughs> oh, you want? You're going to ask me a question? Yeah. Tell tell us the answers we see we seek. Okay, it depends on what it is, but typically you could send a requisition to Plant Services, and they can probably come and fix something for you. It turns out that our trip to Rigby Hall was more than successful. We now know that plant services may be the place to turn. Jasper Wilkes here. Uh, we're uh, in my lab laboratory, and we're going to be looking up some information on Internet Explorer, the only browser that I trust, and uh, seeing if we can't solve this mystery. We're going to go ahead and search plant services. Well, what do we got here? Maintenance request form. This could be it. This could be what I'm looking for. For maintenance and lock repairs and requests for tables, chairs, trash cans for special events. I'm going to go ahead and give them a call. Okay, sweetheart. Oh, that, that's my mom. Going ahead and calling maintenance or plant services right now. Plant services, this is Sarah. Hi, I've got a question about uh, having something fixed on campus. Um, okay. I was wondering how I turn in a request to do that, or what what do I do to to get something fixed? Um, what exactly is it? Say like a water fountain. Okay, what you do is you go on the school website. Mm-hmm. And you go to the resources tab. Mm-hmm. And then down to plant services. Plant services, okay. And then there's the general maintenance request. General maintenance request, okay. Mm -hmm. You just fill it out and it's sent to us. And that's good for fire hydrants or water fountains or duct work or anything like that? I believe so, yes. Okay. What about uh, toilet flushing handles or uh, or shower if, curtains or anything like that? Um, if it's for, is it for like off-campus housing? No, it's just, you know, in the dorm or in, in one of the classroom buildings, something like that. Yep, everything goes through us and then we send it to the individual foreman. Okay, well, well, I sure do appreciate it. What's your name? Sarah. All right, thanks a lot, Sarah. You're welcome. Goodbye. Bye. Case closed. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Deep Mysteries. Join us next week when... Uh, My wife died a number of years ago, and uh, sometimes I get kind of lonely. I like to wink at the wink at the ladies on campus, and you know, just see the reaction. Got some used monitors here. They sure don't make them like they used to. What have we got here? 
I think we found a clue here that we might need to investigate. Uh, no. No. No, walk away. The amount that you open the faucet is your aperture. 